Hi guys, this video is going to be my current beauty favorites. I don't try out enough products to do this every single month, but I am planning on doing this at the end of this season, so summer just ended. So these are all the products that I've been loving this summer. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, so my favorite foundation has been, I actually bought it in March and I've used it, I used it pretty much every single day. I'm not the type of person to, you know, get a full face of makeup every single day. Usually I'll just wear some foundation to even out my skin tone, uh, maybe some mascara or eyeliner and some lip gloss or lipstick. But my favorite foundation throughout the summer has been the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. I purchased this a few months ago. I have been using it the entire um, summer and I really, really like this. It's um, really, really light, yet it covers and it smells amazing. Another uh, foundation that I've been loving, and I don't hear a lot of people talk about this, and it's, it's strange to me because it's one of my favorites. I'm pretty sure I'll probably use this through fall as well. It's the Maybelline Dream Smooth Mousse. And I really, really like this. It is a, um, it's like in a little jar and I've actually hit pan on it. And it's really, really smooth. It goes on smooth. It looks really weird because I actually dip my brush into it. But I really, really like it. I really recommend it if you have, I think any skin type could use this. My favorite bronzer has been, I have two. I have, I really, really like the Chanel Tan de Soleil. It's a cream bronzer, so it's a little bit more time consuming than a powder bronzer. You really have to blend this out. But it doesn't take a lot to do it. I've actually used it quite a lot, and it hardly, hardly has a dent in it. And I think this is gonna last for years. Another one that I really, really like is the Benefit Hula. This is, I mean, this is famous. I really, really love it. It is perfect for my skin tone. Um, and it doesn't have any shimmer, so it's great for contouring. That's why I use it every single day. My favorite blush during the whole summer is MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dainty. This is such a pretty, pretty color. It's, it just adds a natural flush to your skin. It's so pretty. I use this on a daily basis. It is my holy grail blush. For concealer, I have two as well. It is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW20. I love this stuff um, for blemishes or under the eyes. Something to brighten up under my eyes. I've been really, really loving the L'Oreal True Match Crayon Concealer. This thing is amazing. I had to look really, really hard for this because some of the stores where I'm from didn't carry this and I bought it at Walmart. <laughs> I guess I didn't look hard enough. I ended up buying it at Walmart. It was about $8, which is kind of pricey for a drugstore concealer, but it is well worth it. It blends amazingly. I use this on the triangle right here under my eyes. It is amazing. Another one that I like for brightening is the It is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer. I use this to brighten under my eyes as well. It's amazing. For highlighter, I love this stuff. It is the it is the Josie Marin Argan Illuminator. It is a pump. It's, it's really kind of tricky because when you pump it out a lot, it does, not a lot comes out, but it's you only need such a little dab right here that it is quite kind of a lot, so just be careful when you squirt it out. For eyeshadow, I bought this, the Wet n Wild Color Icon um, Palette, and this is in, where is the color? Walking in Eggshells. This is so pretty. This is such a pretty everyday. I'm wearing it now. I'm using exactly what it says. The This on the brow bone, this on the crease, and this on the eyelid. It is amazing. I love it. It was about three, four dollars at the most. It's really, really nice. For eyebrows, I've been using this. This is the Milani Eyebrow Pencil. <laughs> 
It's kind of like the Anastasia. I've never actually tried the Anastasia, but I'm pretty sure it's something like this. It has the pencil on one side and the spoolie on the other side. So it's a two in one and go. It's amazing. I really, really like it. I use it in the darkest, oops. <laughs> I use it in the darkest shade, which is I think just like a dark brown. It works fabulous. For mascara, I've been using the Benefit Bad Girl Lash. This one, it just takes two coats at the most to get your lashes to look fabulous. For lipstick, I love, this is my holy girl, um, lipstick is amazing. It, it is the MAC Angel. I love this. I use this on a daily basis as well. It's a, it's really, really pretty. Um, yeah. Another one that I've been loving is the Rimmel Kate Moss collection. And this one, which is 08. It is really, really pretty and really nice. It's kind of like your lips with better shade. I've also loved the shade number 14. I'm so sad because that one's a really neutral brown shade. It looks really, really pretty on your lips, but I can't find it, and that's probably my favorite one. I use it more than this one, but this one's really, really pretty too when you kind of want your lips to pop a little bit more because the other one kind of neutralizes them. A lip gloss that I've been loving is the NYX and Salsa. This lip gloss is so pretty. It's such a pretty color. I'm wearing it now and it doesn't leave your lips sticky yet by no means. It is so, so pretty, but it kind of broke on me. The brushes that I've been loving to apply all these are, I really, really love Real Techniques brushes. And so for the foundation, I love this one. It is the stippling brush. It's really, it's dirty because I used it today. <laughs> And I really, really love it. It leaves a flawless application. The one that I use for the cream bronzer, the Chanel one, is this one. It is the Real Techniques Expert Brush. This fits right here and it's amazing to blend out. The one that I use for my bronzer slash blush is this one. This is just their, it says it's the Real Techniques Multitask Brush. It is not too big, but it fits perfectly right here. I use this stippling brush to blend everything out. This is ooh, rubbed off. I believe this was a Coastal Scents brush. It was probably about eight dollars, I believe, but it's, it's really it does the job. For my concealer, I love this brush. This is the Real Techniques Domed Shadow Brush. It's supposed to it, you can use it as an eyeshadow brush as well, but I just love it right here under my eye. I also love this one. This is a C200 Deluxe Crease Brush. This is from Coastal Scents as well. I really, really love this one to pack on color. This is the Urban Decay, just a shadow. This one actually came in my Urban Decay Naked Palette. And this one is just so amazing to pack on color. I really recommend that brush. I didn't think I was gonna like it because the first thing that I tried on, I didn't, I guess I didn't know exactly how to use it, but now that I know, it's amazing. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And like this video if you like it, and subscribe, and leave comments, and all that good stuff. Also, follow me on Instagram, and on Twitter, and on Tumblr. I'll see you guys there. Bye!